How's it going today, uh, YouTube? It's really early in the morning, and I realize it's been quite a while since I've done a video. You'll have to excuse me. I'm uh, kind of deaf in one ear. Right now, I got some wax buildup, and it really bothers me. Uh, it's affecting how I talk, and overall my sense of balance and everything it really messes with you uh but you didn't come here to <laughs> hear about my health problems i hear a question asked a lot on canada goose forums about what you can do with fur and oh, i guess i should have gotten a little more prepared for this video um i uh Here are a lot of people saying, well, how do you get the fur to stand out the way you do? Um, so I'm going to answer that, how I take care of it. And I've got a little bit of a channel update. First of all, I noticed in the last week, I think I got a couple of subscribers. To you guys, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think I'm up to about 20. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, especially since this channel's been out for about four years. So, I do have a project update. I talked about this one time, and I think I'll go ahead and start with that. If you want the Canada Goose answer, you can jump ahead. I don't have any way of putting a time mark in here. This is a one-shot video meaning I don't edit it, I just shoot it with my cell phone and upload it, and what you see is what you get. So, I got this dresser. Let me turn on another light here. Much better. Paid $20 for it at a rummage sale. And, as you can tell from the chip in the drawer, and this hideous green paint, This is like, now up here in Minnesota, we call it cabin furniture. The drawers were lined with newspaper, and this thing had been sitting in the weather. So the back was starting to delaminate along with one of the drawers. And none of the drawers worked very well. I'm going to show you that in just a second. Uh, let's see. As you can see from the back, brand new wood. All solid, as well as a new bottom. I got that wood from a crate at work. And then you can pull the drawers completely out. You can see the runner. Now, the center one I left because that one has two in it. And these other runners, I had to make these from scratch. Why is it not focusing? There we go. So, I had to make six of those for all the drawers. This thing is not... There we go. Focusing. And you can see how easy it is to put the drawers in. And the other thing you'll notice is I took the newspaper and I permanently glued it to the floor of the drawers. And the reason why I did that, uh, I don't know if you can see the date there, but these papers come out of the 90s. Maybe it was... Uh, there we go. Uh, May 8th, 1996. And you can see that all of these drawers, I ran out of newspaper, so I'd use a brown paper bag for that site. All of these drawers. Oh, that one's a little shaky. Am 
might have to put some more wax on it. But this works a whole lot better now. So the lady that I'm giving this to, and this is one of the pieces that I had to make from scratch. They work a whole lot better now. Really happy with if I would have known it was going to be this in depth, if I was going to have to do all this work, I actually had one drawer, this one, this piece of wood here had to be replaced. It was uh, split. So I had to saw this drawer and then saw a replacement piece out of a crate from work and splice that in there. So you see how they did dovetail, but right there it had to be cut off. And there's a groove on the inside, which you can't see. Really happy with that. Okay. Now we're going to take a little walk. So I've got one... Canada Goose Parka out to the cleaners. Uh, I got an ink stain. So here's the fur rough for it, and it looks absolutely beautiful. This has gotten very, very little use in its life. And I don't think I've even brushed this out yet. It's a little weird. It's a little uneven. It's a little shorter here on this end than it is on that end. Not really sure what's going on there other than this fur is really old. And there's nothing that I can do with that. No brush is going to fix that. It is what it is. Oops. Sorry about that. <laughs> so here's what I do. First, you need one of these. <sighs> And you might have seen I got a cat running around here somewhere. So let's get all the cat hair out of there. Oh, sure. No, 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 no. Uh, let's get my expedition. So I'll tell you what, I'll put this on quick. I don't have my tripod. This is getting out of here today, this dresser. I'm so happy. Uh, look at the ceiling for a minute. So, yeah. And then if I turn it up. I don't think I can switch camera modes. So this is turned up. And yeah, this the fur looks kind of so-so. If I didn't tell you, if I asked for a legit check, everybody'd probably uh, really suss this fur. So I'll show you what we're gonna do about that. Take this back off. It's a little warm to wear it inside the house. Thing. Now, nice thing about animal fur, oops, I just realized I'm doing this upside down. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm sure you guys are seriously dizzy by now. I apologize. Um, I've actually got a friend coming on the way. He'll be here in about a half hour, so I don't have time to reshoot this. Now, this fur is a little beat. I'll go ahead and... Now, I know what you're thinking. Hey, if I drag this brush right here through my cat... He's going to shed and he's going to regrow fur. And if this fur sh uh, sheds, it ain't growing back. Well, you're correct. 
we're not going to just take this and drag it through this fur. I want you to pay close attention. Helps if you can do this on a flat surface, but I got my lap, so it is what it is. You just take and put this just like that. You work it in a little bit, and then you roll it. And I'm trying to look through the camera as I do this. But you can see the fur will stick to the bristles a little bit like Velcro. Can you see that? And then it'll just gently pull out. And it takes a lot of patience. But you just keep doing this. And I'm just going to do this one side here real quick. So you can compare it with the other side. I'm not actually pulling the brush. I'm trying... I mean, you, when you roll it all the way back, you have to pull it. Well, this thing sitting on my lap is making my lap warm. And then... We're going to take a look at the difference between one side and the other here. And you can do this any direction. You can do it like this. It actually helps to do it in all directions. See, look at that. And you can tell, I, I didn't clean this out very good. You're going to pull, if it's brand new, you're going to pull a little bit out. This is going to happen naturally. The fur, some of it's going to come out. But for the most part, you're going to get left with a really nice shape. So this is just doing this one side. And what, I did this for about five minutes here. And see, this is kind of grizzled. Um, call it that because of a grizzly bear. If you ever look at pictures of grizzly bear, you see how it's kind of napped together. And this side is no longer napped together. Now, I would typically sit here and watch a video and then do this for about a half an hour just on this one rough. And this has been sent to the cleaner. Now, they did not clean this. They masked this part off and then they did the parka by hand so these with the non-removable uh, fur costs about twice as much to clean one of these but now I've heard of other people using you can also come in and do um, there's some shampoo that you can use on dogs and it's non-water shampoo. I've not tried that yet. I used to have some, but I think it went bad. My, uh, my poor dog, she passed away about seven years ago. So I'm not, I'm not putting seven-year-old shampoo into this. I gotta buy some more. But... Did I... No, I'll get that right side up. Okay. can't tell with the camera you have to look at the timer and see what if it's right side up or upside down so again I apologize for tipping you guys over earlier but yeah there you go that's 
half done and well not really done I'll sit here for another half hour and while I'll wait for my friend but that's a big difference as far as I'm concerned strongly recommend uh, doing that once in a while let me try holding the camera with my left hand I realize for some people this must be an ASMR thing. <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay, guys, that's it. Again, thanks for watching. Like the video if you like it, or dislike it if you think I just destroyed my can of goose parka. But I've had this for six years now. Um, the only thing that I'll say that I'm disappointed with can of goose is what's happening to the sleeve here. The material isn't all that tough. So it's getting threadbare there. And then the end of the cuff is unraveling. So, but I wear this a lot because here in Minnesota, we get temperatures where, well, it gets cold as hell. <laughs> uh yeah so anyway i'm glad you tuned in and uh thanks for your subscriptions again